Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you Hello, hello guys and welcome, welcome back to another ginger. <laughs> welcome back to the Black Beauty TV. Thank you so much guys for always, always supporting my channel. Thank you and welcome to all of you, our new subscribers to the channel. I want to just salute and salute and salute you guys. Yeah. And for my old Obenge Lazy members. Hey, you know how much I love you. I don't know what I will do without you guys. So thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. I see you all in my carbon. And I always try my best guys to come and give you the banger. Even now that I'm doing this video, guys, I'm telling you, I'm going to walk. Like I'm going to walk around. I will have to leave my home around 10 o'clock or 10.30 because I have to start work at 11 o'clock. So I said, no, mm -mm. I have to do the ginger and the banger because the street is too hot for me to just go like that. So after dropping the kit, I just take care of myself, shower, and then here I am to give you people the real banger. Yesterday on the YouTube street, everywhere was scattered. <laughs> Ivan brought the real tingo that I'm going to give you today. So I got my lizard. Hey, all this business class, all this business class flying is a scam. You know, one day, one day, if you don't want to live up to your standard, like if you don't want to live the way you are, you want to impress people in this world. Hey, trouble is your name every blessed day and this grace will always be your name. So be contented. We are coming to that part. And Ivan really exposed a lot about Marwa yesterday and he said the part three is still coming i told them i said guys use it and banger him well well i don't think that it's in his entire life but i know it's his job it's what he used to live if without that he can't live i know he will surely look for this trouble one day again no matter what because it is who he is you know you can't change this guy so now, but before we go into the banger, there's one video I saw on YouTube of Wodemaya. Hey, that video sweetened my belly yesterday. I said, hey, Wodemaya, I salute you. This is how we do it. This is how people do it, but they don't show. And if Wodemaya, if you are watching this video, let me tell you one thing, my brother. Any charity you do, any charity you are doing, my brother, I want you to show it on social media. Because as you are not showing what you are doing, a lot of people begin to think that, oh, Maya, I'm not here to compare anything. But at the same time, yes, we have to do it. Because this is the guy that always said that he has done a lot for people. What has the Maya done? And when I saw this video yesterday, Maya said that he, want, he has been doing this thing, but he don't want to put it online because when he put it online, People always say like, oh, you are putting it because you want to get people's attention. No, when I watched that with the Mayas video yesterday, I cried because I was like, I don't want to come here just because God has blessed us. We are now, you know, the way we are now, it's not like the way when we were growing up in the villages. We passed through the same thing that I saw these girls. Well, the Maya is from Ghana. Now, what am I doing? The biggest charity in Burundi. If you have not watched Wodemaya's video yesterday, guys, honestly speaking, not because we love or me personally, not because I love Wodemaya. Mm -mm. This one is about the content that he just dropped. It's a content that these are the type of people that really need uh, that donation. This is where to see that humanity, charity, this is how it should. And this thing that Wodemaya is doing, it is from his own money that he's doing this charity. You understand? So I want Wodemaya to be doing it. Wodemaya went to Burundi. He's from Ghana. You see, went to another country entirely, not even in West Africa, in East Africa. Went to this country. See how the people are living in object poverty. Try to make these people happy. He paid, um, uh, he paid people you know, hospital bills. I'm not going to be playing the whole video so that at least you guys can go there and watch it. He paid hospital bill, give people a lot of, he went to school, 
That was the one that even touched me. When he went to school to distribute part for these young girls in the school with his money, he distributed part that would reach them, last them four months. So when, when, they, when, he, was, when he distributed and when the girls said that, oh, they used to use their clothes, they don't have money to buy part. Do you know what Wodemaya promised these children? That they are not going to be using clothes again. He promised to be providing parts for them every month. So you see, when people are just cool in their carbon, doing their thing, people think that, oh, they don't do anything. It's when people come like Marwa online to make sure they scam new people. Oh, let's donate for the Indian boys. And then people start donating money that the Indian boys will never appear in Africa. Oh, let's donate to go and send somebody to South Africa. Oh, let's donate to build a charity house. There are a lot of poor people in Africa. The way Wodemaya did it, guys, I'm so happy. Because he tried to do it that in, like in that area, almost everybody shared in that little charity. He did. You know, so I just want to like tell Wodemaya, God bless you, my brother. We do it. You don't need to make noise. You know, this is how we do it. You didn't hear him come online. Oh, please, let's donate money to go and do this thing. No, they said charity begins at home. He started it from within himself. And if you now want to donate to him to do that charity, why not? Because we see it. Guys, you know when you are growing up, that is why I told you that when you come out of the potopoto, me, we, come, we all come out, a lot of us came out of the potopoto. And don't forget it. Don't just come online, no, because God blesses you, you start seeing like you are something more than those people. We all, a lot of us from Africa, we used clothes before. That is the reality. A lot of us, when we were like in that teenage age, we started seeing our period and all that. There was no, like people were using clothes and all that. So to see someone saying that he's going to provide, he recognized the needs of a girl child, especially at that age. What do they really need to take care of their hygiene, to take care of themselves? Not that you are carrying small teenage African girl to abuse. Like Marwa took a 14-year-old girl and be saying to people, this is a girl that is very slim, and brought her online and tell her to turn around, turn around, let people see how she looked like 14 years old, and turn this child around like this. And he was saying that he wanted the child to be a model. He would take her to Paris. Where is that girl today, Marwa? Where is the Paris? Only for us to come and hear from the real source that Joyce was staying in Marwa's house, that these young girls were coming out of Marwa's room. And he don't like the real Obenge African women that have mature. He liked the small one to abuse them. If that were the Maya, God bless you. That's all. Me, your sister, I have to tell you. God bless you, my brother, for this charity. Now let us go to the real banker of the swamp. What did I even want to talk in this our banker? We are going to start. In fact, me is the one I'm going to start. Up. Hey, I said master class scam. Oh, is it master class? No, business class. Hey, God, you people should be correcting me. Business class scam. You want to live to a standard that you don't belong. Oh, I go home to buy uh, uh, this car, BMW for my mother. Oh, I'm going to renovate my mother's house. Oh, I'm buying solar. Oh, I'm buying that. All that for the internet. All these things to impress the internet. At the end of the day, D Mongo, come on 750 euros. Shame. When I hear Ivan saying this thing yesterday, I was like, what? That is why we told you guys that she stole a lot of money from that woman from the Philippines. The money she was supposed to buy bed. The money she was supposed to buy mattress and all that for the woman. She carried that money, everything, and go to her house, make a new kitchen for her mother thief. You think that God will not always catch you? Who knew? Who even knows that demon go borrowing money all over? You see how your life is? You carry wine and be pouring and drinking wine like water. See, in this world, it's better for you to just live your simple life. Nobody is going to disturb you. Nobody is worrying you. But the way Dimango is living, 
trying to impress the whole world. Now, look at the shameful thing that just came. 750. And you come and insult people like us. Oh, they don't know they cannot even spend 50 euros. And we stay in a country that they spend euros. And you come to Europe and say, we don't even know how to spend $50. I saw her posting, uh, she spent 26,000 Kenyan shillings to make her in, uh, uh, in New York. How much is 100 euros in Kenya shilling? 100 euros in Kenya shilling is about 15,000 Kenya shillings. So let's say 100 euros is 15,000. And then maybe that hair oil is 150. Do you know how much people pay for hair? Do you know how much people, when you buy even your own attachment to go and make hair sometimes, you buy your attachment to make hair. The person is making hair for you, you want to collect still more than 100 euros. Even if you go to a real salon, those ones are the people just making at home. When you go to a salon like you, let me tell you, I know Muzungus that pay 500 euros for just to braid their hairs. That is, I know a Cameroonian woman that does that for the Muzungus here. So all those simple, simple things, you don't come online and be telling people, oh, I paid that for that because it's nothing. People stay in those countries and they pay more than that. You think that in the Western world, hair is like in Africa. You don't come and compare. Why didn't you write the money you pay in dollars? Because you know that if you write it in dollars, people will say that, oh, it's just $150. Now you went to be saying, I make a hair 126,000 Kenyan shillings. The same time, she, the same thing she did, when she do, bought those fake clacks, fake clacks shoes, not clacks original in, in, uh, in Jamaica. Oh, I bought them uh, 30 something thousand Kenya shillings. Of course, they sell real original class. There are some that are even 200, 150. You know, so if you turn the money in Kenya shillings, of course, it will be like that big. And she will never tell the people the money in dollars. She will always call the name in Kenya shillings. And she's not buying that thing in Kenya shillings. You see? So now Ivan has come to disgrace you, Dimwango. Oh, I want to be flying every time, only business class. And you are suffering like this of money. See us. Guys, let me tell you, eh, sometimes when I see these people, like, they come to proud and abuse people. I say, these people are nonsense. You don't have a steady income, Dimwango. Any bank you go in this world, they can never give you credit. There is no bank that is going to give you credit. Me, I have my job, real job. If I, I, it's not that I'm proud, but that is the thing. If I go to a bank like this, my bank in Germany, no amount of money I want to borrow that, they will not give me. They will give me. I will not start looking for Hoochie YouTuber to borrow 750. Alone in Germany, if you are working, you have Dispo. People that are in Germany with me, you know what I mean by Dispo. Even if you are not collecting credit, you have Dispo in your account. Three times double your salary. It's just there in your account if you don't have money. It's the bank money. You can just use it, withdraw it and use it. You see? It, like me, for example, I used to have more than like six, 7,000 euros dispo. In Spada Bank. If you're in Spada Bank, you would, guys, shout out to you. You would say the truth. So if you don't have money, you don't need to look for people to be borrowing. And then you are the same person that will go around. And you'll be insulting people that, oh, people are not having money. Oh, people are like that. You want to show people that you are rich. And your brother Marwa cannot borrow you money. You went to borrow money from Ivan. You turn and told Marwa. And then you people gossip uh, Ivan. Like Ivan was wanting something from you while you were the one. Wanting money from, from Ivan. Jezebel. Family of vampires. You are the one who wants money and he borrows you that money. And now you want to turn the table round to say that, oh, Ivan, Ivan wants something from you. The same thing your brother sold you to Erondante and you guys were collecting this man's money. Now Erondante has realized that this is the Tingo. He has disappeared. Nobody knows his way about. You see how this family has been treating people? At the Mongo, you are borrowing money. Hey, it's not even only Ivan. This girl is a borrower, or how do I say it? To live a life just to impress people, just to think that you want to paper the reactors. I can never go all about like this borrowing money from people. 
This, how can people be lying about you? No lie. Ivan showed everything. Clean and clear how you return the money. Thank God. In fact, Ivan is even lucky that you returned the 750 for him. You should have done him. You would have done him like the way you did to jump to her. The same thing, African Tigress. Let me not forget, let me talk it before we go. African Tigress came out to say, oh, Dimwango borrowed money. She never called her or something. It is when she was really in need of money. She called African Tea to borrow money. Eh? You are borrowing from African Tea. Jam to come here, fight you for his $6,000. For how many? In fact, more than two years. Or oh, oh, so. All everywhere you enter, you are collecting money from people. Now Ivan came with his own. You were borrowing money from Ivan that you have never even seen. I told you have the money. I told you have the, 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 the tingo. You know the tingo? So you don't have the money and you come like this to be dancing. I have always tell people this thing, but people always think that I'm wicked. Forget about this thing. You see them, they live this kind of life online to impress people. I go to buy that car that she bought for her mother. Is it not the problem that came the person that the commission or whatsoever they call? She refused to pay the person. And the person came online and said, this is what Demon God did. refused to pay me this. You cannot live a life to impress people. Satisfy yourself first. Oh, I want to fly business class. That money you're using if you have sense. That is why I say it's a, it's a in fact, it's, maybe it's a rondante that was paying for the business class. Because you cannot just start, that is why they cannot maintain, like to have anything, any project, anything, anywhere. Because of what? Because they just want to impress people online. And that is all. You buy BMW, BMW, and go and give in your village in Kenya that you don't have road. Who does that? But that is your business. It's good that you buy a car for your mother. Nobody said no, but at least live a life that balance your, buy according to your, buy your material according to your body. Don't go to be impressing people and be lying up and down. And all these things, you don't have nothing. Just you want to impress people and be scamming people all over. I said, ah, this one, I must come for you for it. Because this one, you, oh, they cannot live the life I'm living. Oh, I'm paying $500 in the hotel. Oh, I go to eat for $500 or I go to eat for $50. Simple, just live your life a normal life and we will not come to worry you. Look at how Ivan just disgraced you. Still America, before you even reach America, your Boroboro have reached America. You were already borrowing money from America. And you were still somewhere, somewhere in Asia. What a shame. So all the money you got even from Lola, the money you got from JB, eh? They, you used JB to get millions of views. All those that money did not reach you. Ivan said yesterday, don't mind them. If you see the kind of life they live in, don't believe this life they are living is all scamming. It's all scam. All this life they're living is a life of lies. Let us go and watch Ivan, guys. And then we come back. Let me see how far. In a tough situation financially, she needed to borrow some money from me. And I said, okay, how much? She said about $750. Now, keep in mind, I never met D in my life. $750 is a lot of money. So, to be honest with you, I was very uneasy with that. But I'm also say D has helped me on my YouTube journey up to that point way more than her brother. She's given me advice. She has given me suggestions. She's encouraged me. She has shared my videos countless of times. And for that D, I want to say thank you. I will never forget that. Guys, YouTube is very difficult. And when you're able to reach people like D, people like Mawa, it's a blessing for your channel. But it's a double-edged sword because when someone's trying to take things back like Mawa, then you wish that you are less subscribers than more because all he has to do is, and they're gone, which is what he tried to do to my channel. But I'm still here, Mawa, I'm still fighting and I'm gonna keep on fighting. Long story short, D Mwango has been instrumental to my success in my very early stages on YouTube. She has taken time to talk to me, 
gave me advice and made sure that my channel would take off. I will never forget that. So when she needed help, it was hard for me to say no. She wasn't asking for $50 or $100. She was asking for $750. That's a lot of money. When you guys are watching YouTubers and think well, YouTubers are so rich and all that, that is not the case, man. Being a full-time content creator is tough and it's expensive. So don't believe what you watch. You don't. People have serious problems. That's the reason why I don't do YouTube full-time. Because I just know the waves is not something I'm willing to deal with. So being compelled and being asked to, from a friend, to borrow money, I gave D the money. And this is the transaction that you can see right here. So D told me when she borrowed the money that she will pay me back the very next month. Did I believe that? I don't know. Remember, I never met D. Even if she didn't pay me back, I took it as investment money because she was helping me so much. There was no way I was going to say no to D. Meanwhile, Pinocchio is making a live telling you guys that no, that's not the case. I was trying to get with his sister. Guys, it's not true. It's not true at all. So as a collateral damage of my friendship ending with Mawa, my friendship has also ended with D. But I have no This is what I just have to say in this particular part. You see how they are total unprofessional in their dealings with people. Even when they, they, when they call themselves they are celebrities. Which celebrities? They are just popular YouTubers. That is what I call them. And popular YouTubers, not even the whole YouTube. Some part of YouTube, some community of YouTube. So you see, immediately after all Ivan did to her, borrow her money, saved her when her brother Marwa could not do it. I asked myself, I said, people say that Marwa collect $20,000 every month. Or Marwa said he's richer than the president of Kenya. To tell you that these people, even them within themselves in their family, they don't trust each other. The evidence are there. They don't love themselves. They don't trust each other. Because if I am rich, if I have money, guys, I'm telling you the truth. There is no how my sister is going to go outside and be borrowing money from people while me, I have money. First, your family will be the ones to save you before you go to other people. You understand? So now with all the money Marwa has, with all the subscribers, so he has only money. How much, is, how much did Marwa bought ticket? For Polina to come so that he would knock her in the US. Marwa bought more than $1,000 ticket. He said it with himself, not me. How much did he bought ticket for Salvador to come to Africa for him to use Salvador and knock Salvador? So what is $750 that Marwa cannot borrow his sister? You see? So now Marwa don't want to remove his money to borrow his sister. Or his sister don't want to collect money from her own brother or from their family. Now they must look for people to use. How will I, how will I have money? I'm collecting all this. Also all this cement she has been buying for Marwa. All the money she's saying she's paying for the swam room. All is calm. That is why I told Salvador, stay out of this. Because that swam villa is people that build it. It's people, in fact, it's not Marwa's house. It's subscribers house you understand now marwa and dimwango fighting people on youtube and then when you people two of you are in trouble you cannot save yourself the other time you are borrowing from african tigress the other time from ivan what about your brother marwa can't you borrow money from marwa can't you borrow money from gigolo master can't you borrow money from your mother or your father they are still working so why going around to be asking Ivan that you have never seen? This guy have never seen you in his entire life. And he carried this money and borrowed you. After borrowing you this money, he didn't even know if he would get the money back. But he just said, let me just trust and just borrow the money. Now he has problem with Marwa. Before you know it, Dimwango have scattered with Ivan. This is where the unprofessional Come into it. Tell me which brand will want to deal with this kind of human being. You have to be professional in your job. You must not be everybody's enemy just because Marwa is enemy to that person. You can still be friends, cool, normal with Ivan. You know, not because Ivan and Marwa have problems. Everybody. And Ivan said, if I could still remember, if I hear him well, 
Ivan said that even when he was having problem with D, you know me, I thank God for my wisdom. Ivan said that when he was still having problem with Marwa, D was still following him. They were still friends. They were still cool with D. The only time that D left Patapata Pata, Ivan was when D Mwangu saw Ivan with Wodemaya. Are you people following the Tingo? When she saw Ivan with Wodemaya, that is when she, she, she blocked, removed everything from Ivan. That is why I told you this is where my wisdom came in. Ah, I come sin. That is why I told you that D Mwango is exactly what happened with her and Kino. You remember when I told you, I always tell you people this thing, but you don't understand. When Kino and D Mwango, they were no more seen. The second time she went back to, the, uh, to Jamaica, she now carried Shin. It was because she saw Kino with Wodemaya. Whether you people like it or not, that is the tingo, that is the reality. She saw Kino with Wodemaya, and then what, after she saw Kino with Wodemaya, she went back to Jamaica and refused to have anything to do with Kino. When people started talking about it online, that is when she came back. When did they, where did they go? They went back to Trinidad. When they came back from Trinidad, that is the time. You now see the Mwangu. They reconcile small with Kino. It wasn't even deep like before. So you cannot expect everybody because they, you are enemy to the person. Let the person be enemy to everybody. Just because Kino is just helping you in Jamaica when you were in Jamaica, showing you places, does not mean that Kino should be enemy with Wodemaya. Does not mean that when Kino sees Wodemaya somewhere, Kino shouldn't have anything to do with Wodemaya. That is the thing. When Ivan said this, I said, yes, me, I'll be saying it. That is the tingo. That is the reality. I don't want, let us go and watch another clip because I don't want to stand here. I have to also do sharp, sharp. Then I go. Let's go and watch another clips and then we'll come back like never before. Please, guys, if you have not liked the video, kindly like the video as we move ahead, ahead. I never treated Mawa like a celebrity. I always told him the truth. Maybe that's part of the reason why he didn't like me or pretended to like me because he prefers to be surrounded with people who would say, yes, you're right about everything. But I always told Mawa, no, this is not okay. Even when I was drafting a video, he would tell me, this is the thumbnail you should use in order for him to be in the front. But guys, this is my channel. I want you guys to watch me for me, not for Mawa. This is not a Mawa's channel. So we had disagreements about many things. But I always told the truth about Mawa. I think you should do this. I think you should do that. This was just my opinion. I just never was afraid to share it. I'm not a yes ma'am type of guy. And it created the problem that it created between Mawa and I. You have to surround yourself with friends who want the best for you. That's why I even took him to North Face. Because I was hoping that he would be selected as a North Face ambassador. Unfortunately, Mawa, as you guys know, does not understand the impact of his actions. He does not hesitate to pee in public and engage in behavior that no brands wants to be associated with. But when I saw Mawa, I always thought he could be much bigger than he is. That's why I encouraged him and I did a lot behind the back and I did a lot behind the scene, guys, to make sure that Mawa will even get bigger than he is today. But in return, what he has turned is someone who wants to attack my character and lie to you guys. This particular one, especially, <laughs> I believe Ivan back to back. Marwa have attention syndrome. <laughs> if you check out all the videos Marwa have done to his villagers, people that come to collaborate, everybody, Jamaica, Uncle Watt, he's the one who is telling them which thumbnail to put. And then he went down, met Ivan, an intelligent man. Now you met an intelligent man, Ivan, you think you can like turn him the way you are turning your villagers it doesn't work like that you cannot tell ivan how you even say that he's a celebrity in which in which corner is he a celebrity please ivan you said you should stop it marwa is not a celebrity marwa is a youtuber a popular one in african community or american community small not all american community 
You know, it's just in some part of community there that is known. How many views do you see Marwa get with his 500k? I have seen this, uh, in fact, shout out to these people. Is it Sylvia, they call them, that Muzungu woman in Kenya with the husband. How many subscribers do they have? Guys, check out their subscribers and check out their views. In fact, congratulations to them for their new baby. Just want to like do this small comparison. Like somebody is coming with this kind of... It's not about the subscribers, Marwa. You are no more popular. Some of the subscribers, they are robots, if you don't know. They're just robots there. Just giving you... There are people, all these people, you just collect their phone on the street and you subscribe to your channel. You think that they know you, that they are watching you every day. No. They are not even deep into you. They just give you the subscription and that is it. And that is all. So why are you saying, Ivan, that he's a celebrity? Of course, we know that no brand want to deal with him. No brand on this earth want to have anything to do with somebody, a man, a grown-up man. Not that he's a child. Guys, sometimes even if I'm walking with a child, my son like this, on the street, and maybe people catch him like this. You will be ashamed to be looking for who, like, if there is no toilet around. How can you just carry your bola like this? And even him, he will not do it. Even if I tell him, enter bush and do it, he will not do it. And then a grown up man like this will come like this and come and say, it's normal. And be, and be watering the bush. And so Ivan want to even, and he will come and tell people, you know what, I don't, lies, lies, lies. I don't want to work with any brand because the brand will disturb me. Do this, don't do this. Before we know it, Ivan took him to North Face. After Ivan took you to North Face, what happened? They did not give you the brand because of your misbehaving. And now you turn around, Ivan, who took you there? You turn around to say it's because of Ivan, it's because of reactors, it's because of whatsoever. Look at, check your behavior, check your manners, and then you realize that the things you do, they will always follow you. The little, little things you do in your life, <laughs> you think you are just cool, it's just, it's just a joke. They will follow you. Exactly, Ivan, I believe you, Marwa want people around him, that people that worship him. I'm far, 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 far from this guy, but I studied this guy even more than my own book. <laughs> I beg, pardon me, guys. I know him from A to Z. He is somebody that he wants all the attention on him. Even look at how he treats my Yukuno. He used my Yukuno to shine. He used Nastro. He used all the people around him to shine. He will always want to be in front. Even if something, that is why you see his villagers, some of them, they have been manipulated by Marwal, just like the guy that Jamaica uncle sent camera. And he said, oh, even be, Jamaica uncle remove money to buy GoPro for you. And you say, ah, thank you, Jamaica uncle. But before Jamaica uncle, there was Marwa. And Marwa was there sitting down. Instead of him to correct the guy, he was laughing because of what? Because he want that attention. He want that praise. He want everything to come like, it is me, 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 me. Who does that? So, Exactly what Ivan did. I want you people to watch me. Look at Jamaica Uncle, guys. It's we that always remember them. Go and watch Jamaica Uncle and you tell me. That is why I tell people, no matter how your channel is growing small, small, don't kill yourself. How many thousands of dollars Jamaica Uncle spend just because of YouTube channel? He will never recover that money. He will never recover that money in his entire YouTube career. Go and check out his views now. In next year, wallahi, if something is not being done, if Jamaica uncle don't travel somewhere, there will be no view. Maybe he'll be dealing with, like Mama Gift. They will be dealing with 20, 30 views. Look at when he met D. Mwango. This is what Ivan is saying. Look at how people watch Jamaica uncle over 30,000 views. Now he came out of, without D. Mwango. Where are the people watching him? Nobody's watching him. The last videos is just under 1,000 upon all the money he paid. All those Yabohanze people that collected Jamaica uncle money, where are they? Do they share him? Do they want him to grow? No. How many times is Marwa sharing Jamaica uncle, but they only want the money of these people? And these people are so foolish to see the truth. They don't even want to understand the tingo that these people always, they only want their money, nothing but their money. And that is all.
They want nothing from them apart from their money. Marwa has this attention syndrome. I will say it today, tomorrow, next tomorrow, and forever. And Ivan don't, and Ivan will not accept it. So him and Marwa, they will always fight. Imagine somebody comes to your house and the person will tell you that, please do quick and get out of the toilet I want to enter. Just an example. How do you feel? Or, oh, do and come out on the shower. Or let me go to the shower first before you go. In your own house, in your own carbon. How do you feel? Somebody goes to your carbon and just because he's a popular YouTuber, he wants you to. In fact, the videos, they have a lot in this video. If you watch Ivan's video, there is a lot to say. But I just picked that of Dimango because of how she lived the, the life of lies. How she lived a deceitful life. How she's living to impress people. How can you travel? Guys, I, I, I don't really understand. Is it not better for me? I stay at home and be admiring my bathroom. How do you travel all the way from Africa to America, to Mexico, to Jamaica, to be showing people outfit of the day? How do you travel all this around the world and you say you are a, a world traveler? And you are only traveling to show people outfit of the day. Who does that? After showing outfit of the day, what next? Let me show you market, how they buy things in the market. Finish, let me show you my hotel room. Are you a traveler? That is why Ponte said that Marwa is the worst traveler. And Marwa and his sister, they are the worst traveler in this world. They just go to travel and show themselves. Standing in the country, they have no idea about. What a shame. Now, guys, I don't know if I'm going to touch the, the video of Joyce's yesterday. Joyce's came bang, 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 bang. Finish how Marwa. Me, I want to touch that spot. Because I used to tell people that Marwa is knocking uh, this potopoto sausage auntie. I used to tell you guys that Marwa is knocking the sausage auntie. And you people used to think that Black Beauty TV is a liar. Now, me, I'm not staying in their home. Now, Joyce came with video yesterday to tell us how this girl is a dirty girl. How she don't shower for two days in Africa. If it is in Europe, I would have said, okay, let me pardon her. Because in winter time or not in summer time. But in Africa, you don't shower two days in that hot weather. I don't know how. I know they say Kenya is not that hot. But at least it's still not cold like a Europe a cold. So how do you stay as a woman? Even if you don't shower, brush your teeth. They say this girl don't brush teeth. She just finished. She told us a lot about her, how she forced herself on Erondante and Erondante. We knew it because she started with this Erondante online. Erondante was seeing her online, thinking it's one clean girl. Erondante was even paying her salary every month to abuse us. When she met him face to face, when he saw the dirtiness, and there are things that this woman said, and I, I believe it. She said that she always wear one abada. We even make videos and said, how can a young girl be wearing this kind of clothes? Every blessed day, go and change. We did videos, and we tell her like that. And now Joyce is kept to say that she don't shower, she don't do anything. She forced herself into Marwa. And then Marwa came to tell us that, you see how he's lying? Mm -hmm. Marwa came to tell us that, oh, I never have problem with Paris. Paris left my house without telling me. How do you stay in somebody's house? Guys, how do somebody come to your house if there's nothing happen between you and the person just leave your house like that? He knock her tire. He used this girl. He knock her, knock her, knock her. Uh, release, release, knock her, knock her. And then what next? When Malika come. She, she left the house because she was abandoned, like all shoes, according to Joyce's. They abandoned her and left until today she's still worshipping Marwa. Are you not ashamed of yourself? We are going to watch that clip because it's my evidence, of course. So we need to watch it and we go ahead, ahead. What I go? Like it, like it, like it. Share the ministry. It's me, daughter of the soil. Let's go and watch the over, over and over, over and over, over. If you watch her video, you will see that dress on her on so many videos. She don't brush her teeth. She will wake up. Just how she will wake up from the bed. That's how she will get up, wear that dress, and she will not take bath. Then she will say, "Oh, mama, I'm I'm going to Marawa place. I'm coming back." I said, oh, Paris, you will not brush your teeth before you go." Oh, I will do it when I come back. I will do it when I come back.
But Paris, take bath at least before you go. Oh, when I will come back when I take bath. I won't stay long there. And when she go, she will be there for hours. <clears throat> she will be there for hours. She won't come to come take bath or eat, and she will not take bath the whole day. In and now when Paris come again, she she lazy. Even for her to go draw water from the well to bring it for her to take bath. Because most of the time, the, the little girl, the maid, she will fill up a bucket of water. Come grab mom, will tell her to fill up the water in the bathroom for me. You understand? As long no water there, when I'm finished taking bath and no water remaining, Paris not taking bath. She will not go and get water for herself to take bath. She won't do it. She will not do it. That girl will, will go two days without taking bath, and I'm not even joking, guys. Why would I come here to make up story on a young person? She will go two days without taking bath, and I was like, huh? What's going on with this girl? And we were sleeping. Imagine how uncomfortable I was. Because me, to be honest, I'm not the cleanest person in the world, but at least I try. Okay? Imagine sleeping with somebody like that in the room. Imagine. She appear on camera, people see her, she's very pretty. That one, I give it to her. She's very pretty. She has beautiful face, nice body. Even though the, the body is oversized, but it's fine. It's still fine. It's beautiful. Okay? But the girl is so dirty. That's why the men then can reject her. But this girl forced herself on iron, forced herself on iron in front of me. I'm not saying they say, I know the, the lazy girl been talking about it. But I'm not saying it because they've been talking about it. It's the truth. I was there. I saw it with my own eye. When Ira left and Ira didn't fall for her, she jumped on Marwa. She started, oh, mama, I want to be Ira. I mean, I want to be Marwa PA. What if I do a video saying, um, you know, Marwa PA for a day? What do you think about that? Then I'll say, oh, yes, Paris. That's a, you know, that, that's a good content. I'm sure people will like it. Do it. Go for it. She started, she started bothering Mar Marwa to be Marwa PA. Until finally Marwa made her his PA. She the one brought that PA idea in Yabuhanze. Marwa wasn't thinking about having a PA. Mm -mm. He wasn't thinking about it. Paris is the one that put that PA business in Marwa's head. When Marwa made her PA now, she started thinking, My mama, I have this idea, a brilliant idea. What if I make a video? You know, being Marwa wife for a day. Then I said, oh, that's, that would be a good content. You know, I, I will not discourage her. Of course not. I won't discourage her. I said, that would be a good content, you know. Yeah, you go for it. Go for it. I always encourage her, you know, go for it. She used to call me mama and everything she want to do, she would consult me, talk about it with me, and I would give her advice. You understand? So, she now started you know, throwing herself on Marua, throwing herself on Marua, and until, I guess, when I left, Marua moved in her house and knocked her. Scatter her, scatter her, scatter, scatter. Marua, you know, eat it. Then when Rocio came, he abandoned her, like abandoned, abandoned, uh, um, you guys, you're helping me put words in the comment section, abandon what? Abandon something. I don't know what word to use. Y'all help me in the comment section. Y'all put the words down there. Yeah. Like a abandon all shoes. That's how Marwa used her and when. Can you imagine? You fool. <laughs> when your enemies pray for your downfall. Hey, this is how God will always disgrace them. Different kinds of sausages. Women of sausages gather like this to fight for a non-entity that will do this country to you. It's shameful that after he scatter, you finish. That is why she left. That is why she left Marwa's house without telling Marwa, this is the thingo. So let Marwa not come every day and deceive you people that, oh, I, I packed the same day to my house with her. And she left without telling me. See how God will continue to disgrace you people. How can you carry somebody to your house? And the person just pack like this and leave without telling you who does that. Liars, only liars does that. A woman that don't brush her teeth. That is why you come like this and sit down and be insulting us. She says she's coming with a baki baki. Shabby, you people gather all of you in your bohans, they abuse us.
Now you see what is happening to you people. Hey, wonder shall never end. Enemies, in fact, even this woman said, not she brought scatter scatter clothes. Dirty smelling tea she brought to Yabo Hanze. How will Marwa admire you? In fact, but how will he not admire? Because they are in the same group. When another scent gather another scent, they form another scent. There is another smell now. The smell will not gather themselves together and become, they don't even feel it again. Because as I see this Oga, Oga Marwa online, he himself he used to stay five days. Even the whole one week, he never put water on the body. So it's the same thing. But it's worse for a woman to stay like this without at least brush your teeth. When you wake up early morning like that, how do you wake up from your sleep with your cat's mouth? And then you start going, you start going to somebody's house without brushing your teeth. Look at how your mama came and disgraced you. Because you, she did not call you also. You came because you are protecting your secret boyfriend. And in fact, I pity Salvador. This is how they are distributing the nonsense within themselves in the Yabohanze. Marawai give you, carry give Salvador. Carry give this person distributing dirty water all over. I pity anybody that's associated with this kind of human being. You leave your home. You leave your mother that is sick somewhere. You pack and come to Yabohanze. You come to stay in Yabohanze without shame. The mother even visit her there. When I tell you guys that this woman, this girl is following one elderly man in, in Rwanda, you think I'm joking. Is the truth, guys, 100% sure of what I'm saying. I told her that if she don't stay away from me, hey, wonder shall never end. A girl of 22 years old, you are going to be following people that are 70 years old just because of money. Just because of one money. She, in fact, guys, me, all these videos, I'm telling you. If I start to do, I will still do reaction because I have to do a do and do. I'm not like Gintu. I'm not like Ponte and others. Me, I will do till I cannot do again. I've told you people, if you want a tingo, you stay and enjoy the tingo. If you don't want the tingo, I beg, go to your Ogas channel because your Ogas have told you people. Look at how he wanted to destroy Ivan. Ivan said it. He will give you something where you meet them is a blessing because of what? Because they are big YouTubers. For me, it's never a blessing. That thing Ivan said, see how I'm just diverting. Anyway, we are just talking general now. That thing that Ivan said, if you meet YouTubers like them, is a blessing. In fact, it's a real disaster. There is no blessing in it because how do you meet a YouTuber? And then every time you are separating with them, they must tell their subscribers to go back and collect what they give you. Is that a blessing, Ivan? Ivan, you said you'll be checking out, but I know Ivan is just trying to be diplomatic because he was really diplomatic in his way of talking. Not like me. Me, I scatter my own. <laughs> I say it the way it is. You know, but Ivan was so diplomatic, which is also good to compose yourself no matter what. But me, I am a proco anti. The way it is, that is the way I say it. No pampering. No pampering, I'm not pampering any king of the swamp. And for that, guys, if you have not liked this video, like the video, we are going to do series upon series. They are the ones that told us that it is never ending saga and it will never be an ending saga. We want the ginger. <laughs> I even feel it somehow that I have to leave you guys and go to my work. I did this video during my break time for you guys. And then we come in the evening and we ginger the ginger. <laughs> Daughter of the soil is enjoying herself. I'm living my simple life that God has blessed me with. Mm? I'm not living to impress anybody. Eh? If I like, I use one hair for the whole month. If I like, I go like this. If I like, I don't wear this or that. But when you leave, to impress people. I don't want to buy, a, go and buy 100,000 car. I don't want to go and buy a car of 1 million to impress you guys. Mm -mm. The little I have, I'm satisfied with it. So tomorrow, nobody will come and say, oh, she says she's living like this. Oh, she says she's living like that. Mm -mm. I'm living in my normal life. You understand? I get my daily food. I get my shelter. I get the clothes I want to share, uh, wear. At least I get 
my life, my small job, I go and do. I come back and I sleep in my small cabin. There is nothing big in my life so that tomorrow, hey, they will not say, hey, is that where she is? Hey, is that so she don't have anything? And she's coming like this. I'm not borrowing, borrowing money everywhere. No, the little money I have, hey, is enough for me. I'm satisfied with it. I don't need to call, hey, who will I call with in America to borrow me money? I beg, Americanas, hey, UK subscribers, Australian subscribers everywhere. Hey, you people should borrow me 750 euros. <laughs> that is how your life will be. Like I knew yesterday, and I did my video yesterday before I did that Ponte video. These are the guys that told Ponte that Ponte is poor. And Ponte is busy living in his poverty. Ponte goes to countries he never impressed anybody. He goes even to a hostel that have two bong and sleep there. And nobody says tomorrow that Ponte, Ponte shows the money he gets on YouTube. He don't hide it. He will just post it like this on his community. He's not doing this to impress anybody. And these people turn to call Ponte a poor man because they live a life of pretense. They want to impress people. Ponte, me, I'm waiting for another video from you. If you don't do another video, brother, now you sabi, now you be mumu. Don't use this opportunity. Use it and resurrect. We want resurrection. <laughs> resurrection for Ponte. Resurrection for Ivan. Resurrection for the Black Beauty TV. And resurrection for anybody that want resurrection. What I go? Even Jesus resurrect. So why wouldn't I? Is a good thing. Is a thing of joy to be resurrected. I want to go. <laughs> Let me leave you people. If I continue to talk, I won't go to work today. So. Thank you for always coming to watch the Black Beauty TV. Kindly subscribe, uh, follow the channel, share the ministry. I saw how a lot of people share my video. Thank you so much. God bless you for your comments, your everything. Let me rush. Then I come back and we see during premiere. Thank you. I love you all, guys. And I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Oh. Good night because I'll premiere it surely before going to bed. So good night to all of you from Germany. Bye bye. It's me, Dota of the Soil. Beneath the shadows deep, content creator mouse. But skin is what they keep. Where will lies they spin? Who promises so far? But when it comes to truth, they never told the lie. Invest with me They say your money's gonna go But once you take the bait The pockets start to go Now our hearts smiles While hearts inside they bleed I feel like your smiles Driven by pure greed Truth gets twisted Lines all fade away In the bonds This game where fortunes are made Living flashy on the surface, but inside it decays. Looked upon shattered dreams and stolen paydays.